I was just want, curious that you presented this, what I think is pretty big news, that there's maybe Native Americans buried at the site of where the garage is proposed, but it was not discussed. And you said that you, the Historical Preservation Commission, had this in front of them and didn't discuss it either. Yeah, so I was given the report um, uh, by the actual consultant who was hired by Hamilton County to do the survey of that property. And I turned that over to Mr. Dave Kennedy and I turned it over to Andy Bateman because he is the city council member on the Historical Preservation and Planning Committee for Loveland. Um, I was kind of surprised then at the next uh, Historical Preservation and Planning Committee meeting that it wasn't even discussed. Um, I just presented the report um, to the council and there was no discussion about uh, actually uh, starting or commissioning an archeological survey or study of that property. Um, we are looking to uh, invite other partners and advocates to help us ensure that those remains, if there are any, are treated with respect and dignity as they should be. Um, we've, uh, we've spoken with uh, Mr. Jerry Neary of the Greater Cincinnati Native American Coalition. He is, has written a letter of support and it was read tonight as well uh, for advocacy to uh, survey those mounds. Do you have any kind of sense of certainty that there are Indian remains on the site? Tom read the letter, but it didn't really say much about the report. Is there a, a big book kind of report on it? There or? is a report. It's not big or bulky at all. It's only about six or seven pages long, I think. The, the actual report was commissioned by uh, Hamilton County to uh, ascertain whether the two buildings that were on the location of the uh, parking, the proposed parking garage. There were two houses there and Loveland requested federal funding to demolish those houses. So I'm not exactly sure, but evidently there's some kind of regulation that a federal funds are used to demolish houses. The houses have to be deemed that they're not historically relevant. So the report on those two houses by a historical preservation consultant listed that the houses themselves were of no historical value. However, there is a very poss a really good possibility that there is an Indian mound there because on an 1849 plat of Loveland, it actually is annotated mound right on that location. And uh, maps of two map later maps, both show that there are no houses on that land. So it is quite possible that there was a mound and the, the report also states that the topographical way that this area is, is very similar to other locations of mounds in the Southwest Ohio, in this region. Um, for instance, it's a raised area next to a flat creek bed. So it's very possible. And uh, the report goes further to say that before any new construction is undertaken, that there should be an archeological survey. It says there should. It doesn't say there has to be. There, well, or, I, she, she, it does say that, that if there should be an archaeological survey, especially if federal funding is used. There's already been construction on the site. Correct. It was bulldozed to make parking spots. Correct. Do you have any sense of how much topsoil was disturbed with that? No, there's no idea. Until a survey is done, I don't think anybody could say for sure whether there are Indian remains there or whether there are not, but certainly we would not want to take the chance that we would... I'm just curious if it's already been disturbed. Well, it, it might very well have been. Well, it has been, but you know... How but much? how deep the, the remains might be or what else is there, we won't know until a survey is done. Are, are you confident that the city had this report when they demolished the housing, the, the houses, and, and went in and excavated for the parking spaces? So that's a very good question. I, when I first got the report, I assumed that the city had the report because it was, even though Loveland did not pay for the, for the actual survey, um, Hampton County paid for it because they were facilitating the federal grant money that was coming to Loveland 
So they are the ones who commissioned the study. So the report actually went to them. I only found out all of this later, but when I got the report, I called Dave Kennedy, I believe that very day, to talk to him about it. Um, I couldn't get a hold of him until days later when I said to him that I had this report. In the interim, because I couldn't speak to him, I put in a public records request asking for any information or any emails uh, to and from the company who did the report and Dave Kennedy, Misty, or Tom Smith in case the report was sent to one of them. And the, uh, they said they had no public records meeting that criteria. They did not have the report. So did you ask if, if they had any report from Hamilton County? They did not have any report. Well, no, I did not. Because it seems like it would have likely come from Hamilton County. Right. But you're, you, you but, but I didn't, so, but they didn't have anything. Yeah. So that's, I didn't, that's a good point actually. Um, but I did then later, I went back to the author of the report and I asked her whether she knew whether Loveland actually received a report. And she went back to the office that hired her and asked them if they had sent a report to Loveland. If they had sent this particular report talking about the archeological, possible archeological remains of Indian burial mounds, if they had sent that report to Loveland. And the person who, who facilitated that report and commissioned that report was gone, but they did tell her that um, it is not their standard operating procedure to send the actual report. They just told Loveland that the houses were not, not historically relevant and they could be demolished and gave them the money to do so from the federal government. Period, with no mention of the That's correct. possibility of that is what. That is what I have pieced together what has happened. That is what I have heard from the consultant. I have not spoke to Hamilton County directly about this, um, but the, the consultant that was hired did speak to them. So it is my understanding as of this moment that Loveland did not know about those mounds when they demolished the houses on the site of the garage. And I think important is when they excavated for parking when they yes. moved dirt. Right. I, I, I don't I don't believe that they did. If they did yeah, that would be horrible. But I, I it is my understanding that they have not seen they did not see that report until I with full transparency and openness on how I got it and who it was from sent it to Dave Kennedy and sent it to Andy Bateman, both of them. And I have not heard back from either of them how or whether they would use that information. All right, that clears a lot up for me then. Okay, thanks.